Welcome back to Rail Documenter Ontario. In today's video, we're talking about the Toronto subway and Line 1's future extension into the city of Richmond Hill. We'll see what the finished project will be, what connections this line will make, when it will be completed, and much more in Season 2, Episode 1 of Metrolink Simplified. Toronto's Line 1 subway has two parts, the Young Line and the University Line. While the Young Line runs along Young Street for the entirety of its duration, the University Line is not as uniform, winding over several roads. The University Line actually exits the city boundaries and enters the city of Vaughan in York Region, with two stops at Highway 407 and Vaughan Metropolitan Centre, Vaughan's planned downtown core. Meanwhile, the Young Line is much simpler, running between Union Station and Finch Avenue, a block or roughly two kilometers south of Toronto's northern border with York Region at Steeles Avenue. But the Young Line's terminus is set to change, as the Young Subway is being extended north into York Region as well, this time into Richmond Hill, Vaughan's easterly neighboring city. But before we talk about the plan, let's shift our focus north to Richmond Hill Center at the intersection of Highway 7 and Young Street. This center is a transit hub, practically functioning as the Union Station of York Region. York Region Transit's three main bus rapid transitways, Viva Orange, Purple, and Blue, meet at the terminal, as well as Richmond Hill Line GO trains at the nearby Langstaff GO station. GO bus routes that use Highway 407 also stop at the terminal, which is why the future 407 transitway will provide access for GO buses to enter Richmond Hill Center. Since Richmond Hill Center Terminal is so important to both the city and the Greater Toronto Area as a whole, the TDC is working on constructing a subway link to the terminal as we speak. From the line's current northern terminus at Finch Station, 6 kilometers of tunnel will be bored to Richmond Hill Center under Young Street, with 5 new subway stations at Steeles, Clark, Royal Orchard, Bridge, and High Tech. Steel Station will connect the Center Point Mall and the thriving neighborhood surrounding it, as well as the future Steel's RT, a proposal for either bus rapid transit or light rail along Steel's Avenue. Clark and Royal Orchard stations will serve the large suburban communities along Young Street. Bridge Station will connect to the Langstaff GO Train Station and Richmond Hill Center Bus Terminal, and High Tech will be for accessing Richmond Hill Center, as in the mall, easier. Overall, this is what the complete extension will look like. The Young North subway extension will benefit Toronto and York Region in several ways. For one, the subway may replace the southern part of the Viva Blue Transway that runs between Finch Station and Richmond Hill Center. There will be little point for the Viva Blue south of Highway 7, and they may shorten the line to between Richmond Hill Center and Newmarket only. It's not like there would be any demolition or anything, since the transway itself only begins north of Richmond Hill Center. So it's quite possible that the Viva Blue Line is shortened when the Young Extension opens. Regardless, a rapid transit link between Toronto and Richmond Hill is what we need. The Richmond Hill GO Train Line has many flaws, particularly its infrequent service. But the Young North Subway will definitely become the number one option for most commuters and likely decrease the Richmond Hill Line's already low ridership numbers. The Richmond Hill Line may as well be phased out by that time, as it doesn't cover any area that the Young Subway and Viva Blue Line don't already. The Young North Subway will also connect the Toronto Subway to several other important destinations in York Region, including Centerpoint Mall and Richmond Hill Centre. It'll be crazy to see that from Union Station to Newmarket, which is a 47km drive on Young Street, we'll be able to take rapid transit the whole way there, with only one interchange at Richmond Hill Center Terminal. The project is estimated, by York Region, to help create 31,000 new jobs, with an estimated 58 million riders annually, by 2031. But you likely want to know when the Young North Subway Extension will be completed. So far, 2031 seems the year the TDC and York Region have projected, which is also when the Ontario Line subway will be completed. But for now, I hope this video educated you. If it did, please consider subscribing to the channel, commenting down your opinion, and liking the video, so you can enjoy more of Rail Documenter Ontario's Metrolinks Simplified.